Hello everyone. In this session, we would like to cover different aspects of solid modeling. Uh, in this uh, session or this uh, lab, we'll try to draw the model. You see that in your head. If you look at the different projection, this is front views, top view, side view. I will start with the front view. And then what I'm going to do is just draw the shape here and just try to do the extrusion in, in different thickness and then I can modify the base. So let's go ahead to go to the solid edge and start the drawing. We'll open a new file and we'll go to the front view. And as you can see, we have, I'm going to draw a line horizontal line and this should be what 96 96 enter and it should be horizontal yes okay so now I need to go up 16 16 enter enter and then I go horizontal 80, uh, 80, 80, and then I should go up from here, from the other edge here, I go up how much, 64, 64, enter, enter. And then horizontal 16. And I go down until I meet for the other one. So this way I was able to draw this one. Now I need to draw the other shapes. Uh, <coughs> and let's make sure that the dimensions are correct. So this is, should be 16 and this should be 96 and this should be 64 <clears throat> now i need to do to draw another line i'm going to choose any point here somewhere here i'm going to go horizontal for 40 40 enter and then what i'm gonna just stop make sure that the dimension from this line to this line this should be 28 up to 28 okay now i need to get a line with a tip to the tip here right they are connected to the tip here and another one here from the tip here I'm going to go vertical okay now in, in here in this area here I have to draw a half a circle so I'm going to draw a circle by center and the radius should be 12 so I'm going to mean that the diameter is 24 or the radius is 12 that's fine then what we're going to do, you go exactly in the middle of the line here and you click. So now I have the circle. Now let's start cleaning. <coughs> I get rid of this uh, circle, get rid of this one. And finally I have the same shape that I have it on the website. This is the same shape. 16, 28, 64, 40, 40, radius 12. Let's make sure that the dimensions are correct. So let's do that from here to here. 16 to here, 40. Oops, sorry, what happened? Okay, I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, 
and to this one foot. Okay, so now everything looks fine. Now I'm going to go to the home and start doing the extrusion. If you look carefully here, the extrusion is how much? 64. Okay, so this is 64, all the way 64. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to go first, I'm going to select this face, right click, and get 64. 64. So I know this one. Now the next step is do another extrusion to this one. And this one should be how much? Let me see. So this one is 42. And the other one here is 12. So this 12 and this is 42. 12. So this is right click. Get 42. And this one is going to be what? In this direction is going to be 12. Yep. So this way I, I'm done with the extrusion. But if you look carefully, this should be like a quarter of a circle. 16, 16 and quarter of a circle. And the radius is what? The radius here is... Uh, 48 so let's do that 48 and we need to draw this circle here so radius 8 so let's do it one by one I'm gonna say round you see the round here round I need the round for this edge here okay so that's 48 so 48 that's okay what else okay now we got the uh, curve here now we need to draw this piece here this take this part here so the radius is 8 and the distance is 20 so i'm gonna go back here <coughs> and i'm gonna make a circle by center and then i'm gonna highlight this 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 frame so i'm going to say f3 so this way i will be locked on this uh, surface so now i'm going to go to from the top and circle by center so i'm going to to the so i'm going to just go somewhere here and i'm going to draw a circle how much radius 8 at a distance 20, radius 8 at a distance 20. So the red, the diameter is 16. Just on the 16 somewhere here. And uh, the distance from the center of the circle to the tip here, this is, should be 32. So I'm going to make it 32, 32, 32, Okay, now the other thing also is just the distance from the circle here. Sorry. Just the whole circle. And this should be how much we can see. 20. Okay. So this should be 20. I'm going to write here to, to 0. Okay. So now we need to do the line. We have the tip here. We're going to move and move horizontal till it touch. To intersect. Do the same thing. Intersect, and then we need to start cleaning. So I'm going to clean this one, and okay, we'll keep this one. Maybe I need to connect it. Let me see. If I uh, okay, so this way I have it. 
now let me go to the home and I'm gonna say extrusion but instead now I need to get cut instead of add I want to do cut so I'm gonna do cut cut of what so not this one I need this one yes cut. so I'm gonna need instead I'm gonna use just a chain and I'm gonna choose this chain here so right click and I'm gonna cut here but I can say I can say cut here through all or through next both should be fine through next so cut through next so this way I was able to get the drawing so and this will end the first part of the modeling now we need to go to the draft sheet so I'm gonna go to home let's don't forget to uh, save the file so I'm gonna say file save as save as and this should be lab number eight yes lab number eight save okay yes <coughs> now we will open a new file new And we need to get the draft sheet. I'm going to make it in inches, although the dimensions are a millimeter, because we are using a sheet which is in inches. We are good. So go to sheet and choose size B. Okay, make it fit. And then import the file. So I'm going to import lab 8. Say open. So this is big, so I'm going to reduce the scale to be 1 to 1. So I'm going to bring the scale here. Right view, side view, and this is the top view. And this is isometric. Right click, it out. So now I'm going to select the isometric. I'm going to move it somewhere here. and highlight the gray scale shaded and then update let's go to the dimensions <coughs> so okay now not this one not this one so i need to do the whole thing that Oh, okay, I need to have it in millimeter. Now I need to get it 1.75 and then I'm going to use millimeter. Let's redo it again. And this one is in here. 64. And then we'll do another one down for this one here. 42. And let's get the circle. to fix that so this should be what eight so let's go back to the drawing so let's go back to the drawing and make sure that this is eight so let me make sure that what is this eight no it's not eight okay so I'm gonna go back to the drawing and fix it I'm gonna fix it here so let's go back here I'm gonna go to say the top view <coughs> and get this dimension so this dimension yeah I'm gonna make it 8 8 and okay now yeah, this is okay so it should be fine now and then save it once I correct it here if I go to the draft say okay now if I go to the draft here I need to update the drone, so I'm going to say here what update. Okay, now if you want to put the dimension on this one, say it is 8 now. It is correct. Now let's get to the dimension of X from the center to the edge here. This should be 32. And again, X from the center here. To the edge here. This is 20. 
what else okay now what about this the dimension here to this one here. and this is two okay now let's see what is the height so it will fit okay dimension 16 and then what distance from here to here 28 hmm. okay now I don't think there's something here Need to be updated. Let me let me highlight it. Let me this one too. Right click, update, and also right click on this one. Update and right click on this one and update. Okay. What the other dimension we need to have? Okay, the dimension from this edge. from this edge comma also from this edge to this edge 96 and uh, what about the uh, x again from here okay from here to here this is 16 and then to here 20 and then to this one so I have 40, 40 and so on. Now we need to put the, uh, the circle. So we have 12. What other stuff here? So now let me see. 16 and this is radius. Okay, so I believe we all stuck. 16 and the radius. Okay, so let's go to that. We need to find what is the radius here. 48 and this one is 16 and this one is 16. okay now let's go to the name of the name of the lab and do should be done so i'm going to type it somewhere here i'm going to choose that okay oh okay now let's go make it two two no okay Okay, okay, this one, okay. Lab eight dash safe. So we are your, your last name. So now highlight it and just move it to be here. Okay. We are done for the day and then we will see you next week to do the next lab. Save, don't forget to save it. So save as, again, this is lab number 8. So, okay, save. Yes. Thank you and good luck. Bye-bye.